I welcome you all for this lecture series on 4G and 5G communication networks. In this lecture number 35, we will briefly discuss about network domain security in 5G. See, network domain security, that uh, N, we are calling it as NDS, network domain security. NDS is a crucial framework designed to secure communications within and between network domains in mobile and IP based networks like those used in 4G and 5G. With the evolution of mobile networks from traditional circuit switched system to today's IP based open access architectures, security requirements have expanded significantly. In earlier generations like 2G and 3G, core network security was minimal since the networks were generally trusted and managed by a few large telecom operators. However, as mobile network transitioned to 3G and beyond, they began to rely more heavily on IP transport, exposing them to new vulnerabilities. NDS that is, network domain security was developed to address these challenges by providing robust security protocols and encryption mechanisms to protect data transmitted across network domains and between operators, particularly crucial in scenarios like uh, international roaming. Through a layered approach that includes transport layer security that we are calling it as TLS, IP security encryption and security edge protection proxies that we are calling it as SCPP and O2.0 based authorization. NDS helps ensure that only authorized entities access sensitive data and network functions. This framework enables secure, reliable communication, reliable communication even when data traverses less trusted networks or multiple administrative boundaries. As we continue into the 5G era and beyond, that is 6G, etc., NDS reminds a foundational element in safeguarding network infrastructure and user data. Next, we will see the introduction to network domain security. Network domain security, that is NDS, provides a vital, a vital security measures within network domains to protect against unauthorized access and data breaches. Initially, early telecom networks like 2G and GSM operated under the assumption that Trusted large institutions controlled these networks, so core network protection was not a priority. However, with advancements like 3G and 4G, networks began using IP-based transports such as GPRS, which increased exposure to third-party and less trusted network. This change highlighted the need for more rigorous security measures to protect data transmitted across network domains and between operators, particularly when users roam between networks. As networks advanced, network domain security evolved to protect both the internal traffic within the core network and the communication across operator boundaries mitigating risk associated with the open nature of IP based traffic. Next is service based interfaces in 5G is service based interfaces that's, that we are calling it as service based interfaces we are calling it as SBIS means service based interfaces in 5G represent a new design paradigm that uses HTTP by 2 protocols to enable seamless interactions between core network entities. Unlike traditional point-to-point -point protocols, SBIs allows network functions, that is NFs, to directly request and to provide services a shift that also introduces unique security needs. Authentication and authorization mechanisms in 5G 
ensure that only authenticated and authorized entities can access services enhancing security within a public lan mobile network plmn to secure data transmission transport layer security tls transport layer security is widely used across service based interfaces although some operators might opt for physical security instead additionally the o 2.0 framework manages authorization for service request by providing tokens through the nrf that means network repository function which grants service specific permissions re uh, reinforcing controlled access within the 5g network ecosystem next security in roaming scenarios that we are using n32 interface roaming scenarios required secure communication channels between different plms which is where, which is where security edge protection protection proxies this we are call which is we are calling it as security edge protection proxies we are calling it as scpps come into play SCPP is deployed in both the servicing and the home PLMs. We enforce security policies, ensuring that uh, ensuring that messages exchanged between networks maintain integrity and confidentiality. SCPP is also obscure network topologies from external networks to protect sensitive internal information. Communication between SAPPs uses application layer security where JSON, JSON web signature that we are calling it as JWE, are employed for encrypting and signaling specific message elements. This selective encryption lets intermediaries intercept a certain message parts while other parts remain encrypted for security for instances with no intermediaries tls can be used for end to end encryption providing a more straightforward protection mechanism when external inspection is unnecessary next network domain security for ip based communication nds for ip NDS Network Domain Security for IP-based control planes offers standardized protection for IP-based traffic across telecom network covering control plane traffic such as diameter and GTPC protocols used in 3G, 4G and 5G networks. NDS IP employs the Internet Key Exchange version 2, IKV2 and IP uh, sector protocol security protocols specifically using ip security encapsulated security payload esp we are calling it as esp in tunnel mode uh, to protect data traversing between network security domains uh, network domain is essentially a network area managed by one authority with consistent security policies often aligning with a single telecom operator network Security gateways, yes, EGs. Security gateways are implemented at the domain borders to secure outgoing traffic, ensuring that any traffic moving between domains is encrypted and authenticated through IP security. While initially intended to protect control plane signaling, NDS IP can also secure user plane traffic applying end to end encryption across multiple network segments next is security of n2 and n3 interfaces the n2 and n3 interfaces in 5g connect critical network components connect critical network components making their security paramount especially when physical security cannot be guaranteed the n2 interface between the amf access and mobility management function and the 5g access network 5G AN facilitates user and network signaling, while the N3 interface links the 5G AN to the user plane function, UPF for data transfer, and IP security provides encryption, integrity, and authentication on both N2 and N3, protecting 
the data in transit from potential interception. Alternatively, data from transport layer security, DT data gram transport layer security can secure the end to interface offering flexibility with integrity and confidentiality and safeguards when operator choose not to use IP security. By securing these interfaces, operators ensure that both the signaling and user data remain protected even if transmitted across vulnerable or unsecured physical networks. Next, net, network exposure function, NEF security. The network exposure function, NEF, plays a vital role in securing, securely sharing network capabilities with the third-party application function, AF, in 5G, such as external applications for session monitoring or traffic management security between NEF and A. AF is essential to prevent unauthorized access and data leaks. NEF uh, utilizes mutual transport layer security, TLS authentication to verify the identities of both NEF and external AF, ensuring that only authorized applications can access sensitive 5G data. Once authenticated NEF platforms and authorization check based on the application's identity and access permissions controlling what data and services can be accessed by enforcing these rigorous security protocols, NEF allows external applications to benefit from 5G capabilities without compromising the network's integrity and user privacy. And coming into the summary and future directions, network domain security plays an essential role in protecting both internal and external communication within telecom networks, ensuring that only trusted entities interact with the network resources. Using a layered security model that combines TLS, IP security, O2.0, and SEPP, the framework uh, addresses various security challenges from data encryption to access control. Looking ahead, network security will continue to evolve alongside emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning, which can proactively identify and address threats in real time. As we move toward future networks like 6G, enhancing these protocols and integrating advanced security solutions will be crucial to maintaining secure, resilient, and user-focused network environments. So thank you for engaging this exploration of uh, network domain security. Understanding the principles and the protect protections within NDS is essential to grasping how modern telecom networks maintain security, especially in an era marked by complex IP-based communications and the advancement of 5G. From core network safeguards to uh, interoperator protection, NDS stands as a comprehensive solution, ensuring secure interactions across the network domains. As we continue to see rapid developments in mobile technology, NDS, that is the network domain security, will remain foundational in protecting infrastructure, user data, and inter-network communications. Hope everyone enjoyed this lecture. The remaining things we'll discuss in detail in the next lecture. Thank you.